Hello guys, my name is Steve and I'm a liquid based solutions engineer. Today we are going to cover how to use the targeted rollback called Rollback 1 Update in Liquibase. Rollback 1 Update is a Liquibase Pro feature that allows you to roll back all chain sets that were deployed in a specific update. For example, this can be useful if you decide that an entire update was accidentally deployed or deployed incorrectly and discovered later in the development process. And just like any other cherry picking tool, using rollback one update comes with the risks which may be unintended. So you must check for potential issues before using this command. Let's go through the workflow and best practices. Here I pasted a sample Liquibase rollback one update command. The deployment ID flag, which is optional, is the deployment ID from the database change log table, which specifies the change sets intended for rollback. If the deployment ID flag is not provided, Liquibase Pro will use the most recent Liquibase uh, deployment ID. First, you want to make sure you know the deployment ID you want to revert. You can find this by using the Liquibase history command. Also, you can expect our, our tracking table from the UI tool. Next, you should run the rollback one chain set SQL command using this information to check potential issues with your intended rollback before running the command. The rollback one update SQL command is a helper command that allows you to inspect the SQL Liquibase will run to revert the chain set in the deployment ID you want to specify in the rollback one chain set command. Let's run the command. In this example, I'm using this deployment ID. As you can see, rollback one update SQL has presented me with a SQL liquor base would run if I use the rollback one update command. Now inspect the rollback SQL presented in the console output and acknowledge that the intended change is correct. You are now ready to run a rollback one update command. The targeted rollback command requires you to enter the force flag as a safeguard and indicator that you plan on intentionally using this command. Let's run the command. Now, inspect the database schema and perform any dev, test, or UAT tasks to ensure everything went smoothly with your targeted rollback. You also should account for the rollback changes in your downstream environments and decide whether you want to remove the change sets from the change log file. That's all it takes to complete a rollback one update. Thank you for watching.